ಶ್ರೀ ಅರಬಿಂದೋಸ್ ಸಾವಿತ್ರಿ ಬುಕ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ತ್ರೀ ದ ಕಾಲ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಶ್ವಪತಿ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅಕಲ್ಟ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅರ್ಥ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ರೇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ದ ಡಿವಿನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಾತ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಸೀಸ್ ಸಾವಿತ್ರಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ as if beautifying all surroundings with her luminous limbs he recognizes the divine plan and says to her that her complement divine force is also born on the earth and she alone can search and find him then savitri goes in quest of satyavan a morn that seemed a new creation's front bringing a greater sunlight happier skies came burdened with a beauty mood and strange out of the changeless origin of things an ancient longing struck again new roots the air drank deep of unfulfilled desire the high trees tremble with a wandering wind like souls that quiver at the approach of joy and in a bosom of green secrecy forever of its one love note untired a lyric coil cried among the leaves away from the terrestrial murmur turn where transient calls and answers mix their flood king ashwapati listen through the ray to other sounds than meet the sense formed ear on a subtle interspace which rings our life unlocked were the inner spirits trans closed doors the inaudible strain in nature could be caught across the cyclic tramp of eagle lives across the deep urgency of present cares earth's wordless hymn to the ineffable arose from the ardent heart 
of the cosmic void he heard the voice repressed of unborn powers murmuring behind the luminous bars of time again the mighty yearning raised its flame that asks a perfect life on earth for men and prays for certainty in the uncertain mind and shadowless bliss for suffering human hearts and truth embodied in an ignorant world and god had divinizing mortal forms a word that leaped from some far sky of thought admitted by the call receiving scribe traversed the echoing passages of his brain and left its stamp on the recording cells force compelled fate driven earth born race o petty adventurers in an infinite world and prisoners of a dwarf humanity how long will you tread the circling tracks of mind around your little self and petty things 
but not for a changeless littleness were you meant not for vain reputation were you built out for the immortals substance you were made your actions can be swift revealing steps your life a changeful mold for growing gods a seer a strong creator is within the immaculate grandeur broods upon your days almighty powers are shut in nature's cells a greater destiny waits you in your front the transient earthly being if he wills can fit his acts to a transcendent scheme he who now stares at the world with ignorant eyes hardly from the inconscience night aroused that look at the images and not at truth can fill with orbs with an immortal sight yet shall the godhead grow within your hearts you shall awake into the spirit's air and feel the breaking walls of mortal mind and hear the message which left life's heart dumb and look through nature with sun gazing lids and blow your conch shells at the eternal's gate <laughs>
man sees the highest in a limiting form or looks upon a person hears a name he turns for little gains to ignorant powers or kindles his altar lights to a demon face he loves the ignorance fathering his pain a spell is laid upon his glorious strengths he has lost the inner voice that led his thoughts and masking the oracular tripod seat a specious idol fills the marble shrine the great illusion wraps him in its wheels the soul's deep intimations come in vain in vain is the unending line of seers the sages ponder in unsubstantial light the poets lend their voice to outward dreams the homeless fire inspires the prophet tongues heaven's flaming lights descend and back return the luminous eye approaches and retires eternity speaks none understands its word fate is unwilling and the abyss denies the inconscient mindless waters block all done only a little lifted is mind's screen the wise who know see but one half of truth the strong climb hardly to a low peaked height the hearts that yearn are given one hour to love his tale half told falters the secret bard the gods are still too few in mortal forms <laughs>
but like a shining answer from the gods approached through sun bright spaces savitri advancing amid tall heaven pillaring trees appareled in her flickering colored robe she seemed burning towards the eternal rims a bright moved torch of incense and of flame that from the sky roofed temple soil of earth a pilgrim hand lifts in an invisible shrine there came the gift of a revealing hour he saw through depths that reinterpret all limited not now by the dull body's eyes new found through an arch of clear discovery this intimation of the world's delight this wonder of the divine artists make carved like a nectar cup for thirsty gods this breathing scripture of the eternal's joy this net of sweetness woven of orient fire <laughs> transform the delicate image face became a deeper nature's self revealing sign a gold leaf palimpsest of sacred births a grave world symbol chiseled out of life her bro a copy of clear unstained heavens was meditations pedestal and defense the very room and smile of musing space its brooding line infinity's symbol curve <laughs> amid her tresses cloudy multitude the long eyes shadowed as by wings of night under that moon gold foreheads dreaming breath were seas of love and thought that held the world marveling at life and earth they saw truths far a deathless meaning filled her mortal limbs as in the golden vases poignant line they seemed to carry the rhythmic sob of bliss of earth's mute adoration towards heaven released in beauty's cry of living form towards the perfection of eternal things transparent grown the ephemeral living dress bear the expressive deity to his view escaped from surface sight and mortal sense the seizing harmony of its shapes became the strange significant icon of a power renewing its inscrutable descent into a human figure of its works that stood out in life's bold abrupt relief on the soil of the evolving universe a god had sculptured 
on a wall of thought mirrored in the flowing hours and dimly shrined in matter as in a cathedral cave annulled were the transient values of the mind the body's sense renounced its earthly look immortal met immortal in their gaze awaked from the close spell of daily use that hides soul truth with the outward forms disguise he saw through the familiar cherished limbs that great and unknown spirit born his child an impromptu from the deeper sight within thoughts rose in him that knew not their own scope then to those large and brooding depths whence love regarded him across the straits of mind he spoke in sentences from the unseen heights a casual passing phrase can change our life for the hidden prompters of our speech sometimes can use the formulas of a moment's mood to weigh unconscious lips with words from fate <laughs>
spirit traveler of eternity who camest from the immortal spaces here arm from the splendid hazard of thy life to set thy conquering foot on chance and time the moon shut in her hello dreams like thee a mighty presence still defends thy frame perhaps the heavens guard thee for some great soul thy fate thy work are kept somewhere afar thy spirit came not down a star alone o living inscription of the beauty of love missile in our eight virginity what message of heavenly strength and bliss in thee is written with the eternal's sun white script one shall discover and greaten with it his life to whom thou loosenest thy heart's jeweled strings o rubies of silence lips from which there stole low laughter music of tranquility star lustrous eyes awake in sweet large night and limbs like fine linked poems made of gold stands out to glimmering curves by artist gods depart where love and destiny call your charm venture through the deep world to find thy mate <laughs> For somewhere on the longing breast of earth thy unknown lover waits for thee the unknown thy soul has strength and needs no other guide than one who burns within thy bosom's powers there shall draw near to meet thy approaching steps the second self for whom thy nature asks he who shall walk until thy body's end a close bound traveler pacing with thy pace the lyrist of thy soul's most intimate chords who shall give voice to what in thee is mute then shall you grow like vibrant kindred harps one in the beats of difference and delight responsive in divine and equal strains discovering new notes of the eternal theme one force shall be your mover and your guide one light shall be around you and within hand in strong hand confront heaven's question life challenge the ordeal of the immense disguise ascend from nature to divinity's height face the high gods crown with felicity then meet a greater god thyself beyond time <laughs> Thank you.
this world was seed of all the thing to be a hand from some greatness opened her heart's locked doors and showed the work for which her strength was born as when the mantra sinks in yoga's ear its message enters stirring the blind brain and keeps in the dim ignorant cells its sound the hearer understands a form of words and musing on the index thought it holds he strives to read it with the laboring mind but finds bright hints not the embodied truth then falling silent in himself to know he meets the deeper listening of his soul the word repeats itself in rhythmic strains thought vision feeling sense the body's self are seized unalterably and he endures an ecstasy and an immortal change he feels a wideness and becomes a power all knowledge rushes on him like a sea transmuted by the wide spiritual ray he walks in naked heavens of joy and calm sees the god face and hears transcendent speech an equal greatness in her life was sown accustomed scenes were now an ended play moving in muse amid familiar powers touched by new magnitudes and fairy signs she turned to vastnesses not yet her own allured her heart throbbed to unknown sweetnesses the secrets of an unseen world were close the moon went up into a smiling sky cast from its sapphire pinnacle of trance day sank into the burning gold of eel the moon floated a luminous wave through heaven and sank below the oblivious edge of dream night lit the watch fires of eternity then all went back into mind's secret caves a darkness stooping on the heaven bird's wings sealed in her senses from external sight and opened the stupendous depths of sleep when the pale dawn slipped through night's shadowy guard vainly the newborn light desired her face the palace woke to its own emptiness the sovereign of its daily joys was far her moonbeam feet tinge not the lucent floors the beauty and divinity were gone delight had fled to search the spacious world